I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do So today I want us to do a small quick tour at the Tantanka Automobile plant. This is the HR of the company. It's an nail sign. That's the nail sign here. So we are at the Kantanka Automobile um, General Assembly plant. We have about five buildings here. We have the welding line, we have the um, the treatment pool where normally after the cars are being welded we we, we we send it there for the body to be well treated in case we have, we have to take care of all kinds of rustiness or anything any kind of rusting then from there we go to the spray line then this is the general assembly line where it has been recently been um, expanded because of the new policy government has introduced into the country so we cannot be we're going to be able to expand our production. So I'm going to turn the camera around for you guys to see or have a feel or have a look at what we're doing here. So there's a new... Um, this is just the same as mine. But these are going to the Flagstaff house today. So no matter what, I've told these guys that they don't finish these cars, I'm going to <laughs> start popping some bottles on some people's head. Okay. Uh, PJ. 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 What's it, watch? So these are the little cars that have been parked here. So you can see the size difference. This is a case, I think a K71. And if you look at the size of it, it's very, it's a bit bigger than these small ones. I mean, Ghanaians are going to love these cars. I tried one a few days ago and I filled the tank, I think we're out with 150 cities or so. And it took me to uh, Chakradi and back and I still took the vehicle to Accra and it's fantastic. It's really really fantastic. So that's the one that I, I own personally. So I have something that I want to show you guys today. It's uh, an Aboboya. So if you have a look at it, this is an electric Aboboya. These are new models that I'm also trying to introduce on, into the market as well. So let's just have a quick view of how the automobile plant. We are still doing expansion, expansion, expansions here. So this is the testing line. There's the welding line. That's the treatment pool. That's the spraying line. The spraying line has also uh, re received a few uh, expansion adjustments to the building since we are increasing our production. So we'll have a look at a few things there as well. I mean, the guys there are really working. The whole place is, is scattered because of um, the expansion millions and millions of dollars has been um, invested into this project okay so uh, there's the old spray line that we're seeing here this is the old spray line that we're seeing here and this is the new one we still have a lot of work to do here still have a lot of work hello still have a lot of work to do here So this is a typical spraying place where you can see she's not spraying at the moment so she's not properly dressed for her spraying stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so there's a car that they've sprayed. So they are, it's, been, it's receiving uh, final checks to see if there are no drops on the vehicle and all. So that's what they're doing now. We are, and this is an oven. That you see the extension they see here there's also oven solving for spraying booths as well people are checking all their parts and sorting to make sure everything is there these are all part of the branding of Kantanko automobile so i'm giving going to give you a review of how work is being done at the plant so this is what we have here so this area, uh, the people who are normally um, here are mechanics. We have, um, how do you call them? The mechanics and we have the interior guys, the exterior guys, the AC um, guys who install the AC. 
And there's a place that we do testing on the vehicles as well. So look at how beautiful these cars are lined up. Oh, so if you want to ask a question, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cars a day that we can um, actually work on at this plant. If we want to expand it over here, maybe in the near future, means maybe we would have to be increasing the number or doubling up the number from 10 to 20. Means 20 cars a day times 30. 30, um, that's the number of days we have in a month or 31. So basically, this man we see here, he's a multi-talented utility player. He works at the, I've never seen a macho man who 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 is an it macho man is an electrical engineer macho man you're on facebook live you're on facebook live ah oh nice one nice one so we're working on our chassis here as we can see to run our vehicles to take away anyone who will try to steal it from Kansanka so the machine is writing all these things here and this guy you see here is also a hardened criminal he was in, in someone prisons a few days ago we had to beg the government to bring him here i'm kidding he's not a criminal i know right now his girls on facebook or uh, instagram are watching him why he has to fight a number of girls actually yeah. still we, we, we don't know where he comes from but i uh, anyway i think I've never seen any factory that has a lot of macho men like this before in Ghana. So, yeah, basically, I will take you to the last place we have at the plant. Where at this plant, we, we this is where we do testing. So, the testing line that I showed you guys earlier on is there. But this testing here is a rain test. So, after the vehicle is fixed, we need to make sure that everything all the parts that we welded all the parts that rubbers were put there there's no leakage of water or anywhere so this you see here is a testing line where there are so many many shower outputs where water comes from and the pressure that goes in or that comes out of the water is really high just to make sure that sebe so oh well the idea now if you weld something and maybe there's a small leakage or something it will it would actually present itself when you put the cars here so water comes from this side of the the testing line this side as well the top part and all yeah, yeah, yeah. so the guys want to um do a display and let you guys see um how the water comes out so that you know that when you buy a car from kantanka automobile durability safety as one of the company's number one priority we don't want cars to go out for people to know or people to feel that oh um this car that is coming up you should talk crap about me no, no 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 there's nothing like when it rains you're gonna have any effect from the rain no when it rains you don't have any problem i mean you're safe so in a few minutes time the water is going to come out from this shower um ports and you'll see as i always say at kantanka automobile safety as a number one priority so in a few minutes let's go so there we go so this is how the water comes out in a few minutes to come everything will come out so you see here so imagine being if you put in a, your car in this there are so many cars in ghana that when you put them under this kind of condition they'll fail but these cars are still being sold on our roads you understand me just because somebody looks at how much the person is going to make small money somebody could chop so they'll put they'll bring this car out and sell it sell it on the market but at kantanka automobile we don't do that we make sure that in a very tropical zone area like ghana we need to check for all these things to make sure so looking at the, the the size of the vehicle we can also maybe turn some of these shower ports out and focus on the main area so now the reason why the the front part of the 
shower system is working is we are testing it on the pickups to make sure the pickups that is where you know the, the bucket of the pickup doesn't need any rain testing but the front part of the pickup needs rain testing to make sure that everything is working on fine you understand yes so um yep 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 yep, 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 yep. so we're done for today every single day or once in a while random we'll pick a day and have a tour walk with kojo sako apofina this is the new thing i want to do now so we're going to have a single every step by step journey of how the vehicles are made just to kill all kinds of questions that we customers or Ghanaians or concerned citizens i do ask ourselves bye bye take care guys thank you for watching Simple tv